Okay, perfect. Hi, David. Thank you for being here at GPEC Summit 2016. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's been awesome so far. Awesome. Great to hear that. Uh, for those who are watching this just now, we have David Dermain here, CEO and founder of Hotjar with us. Um, and I'm going to pick your brain with some questions. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so let's start. So um, I wanted to ask, how should online retailers balance industry best practices and trends and user insights in their decision-making process? Yeah, here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of best practices. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, what's, what's good for you might not be good for me. So what's best for you is definitely not best for me, right? When you think about it, the chances that two businesses share the same challenges, same people, is, is, is very unlikely. Then there's the other factor, which is most best practices and articles written about this um, subject matter are written to get traffic on blogs. So there's a lot of, let's say, link attention baiting going on there. So I'd, I'd be very careful about giving maybe too much scientific weight to these best practices. In fact, at Hotjar, we kind of made, it's one of our three big enemies, best practices is number two. The other two are the highest paid people in the room. So the ones who can say, no, I want to put the layout, the column on the left or that. Um, and the other one is what we call like design trends. So not a big fan of, of best practices. Having said that, once you use tools like Hotjar and other analytics, qualitative feedback tools, and you uncover what your biggest challenges are and how your users feel about your site. If you can go out there and find other companies that have had similar challenges to you and find about maybe case studies or things they've done, there, I think that that has a lot of potential. Oh, great. Yeah, I think that's a very good lead to, to build on, especially for smaller businesses who don't have experience in the field. Um, so what would be one thing you'd wish retailers would do consistently to improve their business and, well, of course, their customers' users' experience? Yeah, that's a difficult choice, right? Because there's a lot of things. Um, I'm going to think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ch a little bit challenging with this one because a lot of people are not going to expect me to say this. But I'd say it's, it's really to, I mentioned this in the session before, it's use more your eyes, your ears, your mouth. Speak to users, speak to customers, jump on a webinar, jump on a call, speak to the sales people, speak to the support people, go out there and, and understand what's going on and take that to the next level. Become a customer yourself. Experience the process. Put your credit card into it, right? Okay. Understand what the hell is going on. And I think that's where you start to then understand the numbers coming from your analytic packages or the insights coming from. So you, you start to connect. So ah, a lot of people are dropping off there because even I was struggling there or people mentioned that. So it's, I like to call this the big picture. So focus more on these qualitative things. Perfect. So eat the dog food. <laughs> Correct. Um, what was your initial vision for Hodger and how has it changed along the way up to now? Yeah, that, that's a good question because the vision has changed a little bit. Originally, um, we really wanted to disrupt the industry. Like I remember when I was 18, it's a long time ago, um, and I wanted to start building websites because I was doing graphic design before that. I was doing this while I was studying law to make some money for the weekends. And I realized there was no way for me to measure if what I was doing was good or not, right? And I'm a very, unfortunately, competitive, strategic person. It's like, how am I going to be really good at making sites? But all the tools that were there back then that could do this, they were so expensive. 4,000 a year, 20,000 a year, <laughs> complex. You have to speak to sales teams. They're like, oh, it's so boring. So original vision was disrupt the market, screw the sales teams. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the site, sign up, get some awesome tech on your site and see what the hell is going on. Now it's evolved a little bit um, because we've seen so much traction and we see we're now at a point where we can make a difference. So we're starting to draw a little bit from our experience, which is if we, if we look at what we've done, the co-founders over the last decade, we've gone from helping other companies or, build, or growing our companies. Mm -hmm. um, we went from doing like layout changes, design changes, to start to focus much more of our projects on the, on the qualitative, the user research side. So now we have this belief that given the traction we've seen, that maybe we can change the way people actually build and improve sites. It's a really bold vision. So we think that over the next 10 years, we'll manage to get 10, 20, 20 million sites using Hotjar. 
and focus more on, less on the tool and more on the way of doing things. That's our really crazy vision now. That sounds amazing, and I can't wait to see it happen. Awesome. <laughs> um, until then, what are the most used features in Hotjar, uh, and why do you think these are the ones that people love the most? So recordings, so the ability to see like a video of someone using your site, that's a big wow factor. People love it and we're happy that's the case because it, it quickly allows you to empathize. Like it's looking over a hundred people's shoulders and see what's going on. So you can say, I want to see people who are dropping off at this point and like see that over and over different people. That's really powerful. Not surprised. Second is heat maps. So the ability to instead of seeing one by one sessions, you see an aggregate for one page. Everyone's interacting. And then third is polls. So the ability to ask quick, quick questions on the page. And um, I'm not surprised. I think those three things together are really powerful. Unfortunately, not many people use the long format surveys, which I think are a huge like value, uh, an opportunity for a lot of these gold nuggets for growth. So I personally try to push that more. Perfect. Sounds good. Um, and do you think there is a difference between how mature businesses and young online retailers should use Hotjar to optimize and uh, grow their businesses? That's a good question. I think intrinsically there is no big difference. I think the big challenges, though, if, if we look at it, like big business, the biggest challenge is where, what to do next, prioritization. So it's you need a bigger shift into the analytics, like the quantitative side, purely so that you can know where is your biggest problem. So a surgeon is not gonna operate on your vein, right? He's gonna start with an artery. So a big company, because they're strapped for resources and things move slower, the analytics side is really important. So you might want to be more heavy on that side. The smaller you are, forget about the numbers and just fo focus on the qualitative. So surveys, recordings, up on a call, that's more powerful because typically when you're small, the biggest challenge is getting a tighter product market fit so you can grow faster and challenge the big, big guys. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, David, for taking the time pleasure. to share all these insights with us. It was great having you on stage as well. Thank you. Um, would you tell us, like, how did you find the experience so far, the GPEC experience? <laughs> I'm really impressed. It's my first time in Romania, so really enjoying it. Super organized. Hospitality has been crazy, but yeah, the lineup has been really impressive. Great lineup and the energy in the room is awesome. So really big crowd. I'm a big believer in events. I think you get inspired, you think differently, you stop and yeah. stop thinking about the organization, right? And look on the outside and get inspired by other people. So highly recommend this event. Really, really Perfect. good job. Thank you so much, David. Great having you here. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Hope to see you soon again. Same here. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Bye-bye. <laughs>